Some hoodlums reportedly enforcing Monday city at home have killed a yet to be identified person and burnt two Siena uh, minivans and five commercial tricycles, popularly called Kekena, Kekena Pepe, in Enugu, southeast Nigeria. The incident occurred in Abakba in the Enugu East local government area of the state, according to Daily Independent. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Some hoodlums reportedly enforcing Monday sit at home have killed a yet to be identified person and burned two Siena minivans and five commercial tricycles, popularly called Kekena Pep in Enugu, southeast Nigeria. The incident occurred in Abakba, in the Enugu East, local government area of the state, according to Daily Independent. Eyewitnesses said the incident occurred in the early hours of a Monday at Liberty Bus Stop, Abakba. The armed men, according to the reports, stormed the ever-busy bus stop at about 5.30 a.m., shooting indiscriminately to scare away the residents who were coming out to their houses for the day's activities. It was learned that in the process, two Toyota Sienna minibus, minivans and tricycles, whose owners had positions to convey passengers from the area we are burnt by the hoodlums. The gunmen were said to have moved to the popular T junction where they attempted to force an elderly man out of his car but ended up burning him along with the vehicle. They stopped the man and commanded him to step out of the car. The man resisted and that made the gunmen open the fuel tank shot into the tank, making the car to go up in flames with the man inside, said an eyewitness who added that the man was burnt to death. Oh my God. Sahara reporters report that residents of Enugu State following violent attacks on businesses have continued to obey the sit at home order. The Inam the Kano led indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, had since cancelled the sit at home observed in the Southeast states every Monday, saying such restrictions would be observed only on days Kano would appear in court. But Finland based functional leader of the group, Simeon Ekpa, has continued to order his armed gang to enforce the order. Meanwhile, Nigerians have this to say. Someone from the same state was happy that bandit killed a police officer in Zamfara. Well, only a fool rejoices when evil before his neighbor. I pray for God to see the affected victims through this trial and tribulations. May we find lasting peace in the country. As usual, and how held an average Northerner can vote for Peter Obi, this is impossible. The same Enugu that rigged votes for Peter Obi. These are the same people that were shouting Obi last week when I heard them say they want to govern Niger, laughing. La I laughed because I know it's not possible. If they are not okay with that, let them go to court. The earlier they stop this nonsense, the better for them. Sit at home, 1,000 days will never bring Biafra. These are reactions by Nigerians. I don't see Igbo people here. They have started again, no, nothing like that too. Okay, during election, Unasi. This was done about 4 a.m. so it could be enforcing sit at home. Get your fats, okay? They had to have shown this 
this their show of shame by ordering seats at home during the last presidential election. I don't know why Simeon Ekpa will leave Ebony, his state, and be destroying Enugu for us. Something needs to be done. ASAP. Enugu state does not observe any seat at home. But this is, but this Mugu keeps sending his boys to be destroying things in Enugu. I can see nothing as very happy over this news. Maybe they should go to court. Now, to the boys, they burn vehicles in Enugu now. Hey, good for them. That can help develop their zone to their expectations. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. No matter how we see this, this have to be condemned in totality. Because I don't know how long we are going to keep on killing our brothers and sisters and destroying, you know, our properties and making life hell to us. This is wrong. These people have to stop whatever they are doing. And now someone says something about two or three persons says something about is it how they are going to rule Peter Obi? Uh, Peter Obi would have ruled Nigeria if they declare him, if they would have declared him the president of Nigeria. So is that why the election was rigged? Because sometimes we talk without thinking. Is that why the election was rigged? Is it in the in the north they are not having issues? Bandits are still killing over there. Boko Haram are still killing over there. The truth remains that Nigeria is not like no mass land. People do whatever they like, but we have leaders. And now the question is, what are they doing? You understand? Some persons were shouting that time, eh, Peter Obi should, should do something. How can Peter Obi keep quiet? They are doing sit at home in Enugu State, in Anambra City. Peter Obi now governor. I'll be waiting Peter Obi be. Peter Obi was the governor of Anambra State, but he's not the present governor. So he get little to contribute for this matter. The federal government of Nigeria should do something about it because they are in control. Enough of these killings, these have to stop. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have not. Thank you.